What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here reviewing today Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's been just over a month since the launch of the Nintendo Switch and the library of cool titles is slowly growing. We've had a lot of indie projects, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and now one of the best racing games ever has decided to join in on the fun. For this video, I want to handle things slightly differently than usual. My goal is to try and answer the question, is Deluxe so good that it's worth buying again if you already owned it on the Wii U? Personally, I had the original version of it along with all the DLC and easily put in over 80 hours cruising around these tracks. So let's check out this re-release and see if it adds enough to be worth the price tag a second time. We'll start by looking at what exactly is new. By far the biggest feature being introduced is battle mode. If you grew up loving Mario Kart 64 because you could slam your friends with shells in multi-layered arenas then you're going to be very happy. There are eight courses that have been made just for this, all of which are actually really awesomely designed. While they are still just generally giant circles to keep you focused on blowing each other up, there are a lot of ramps and side hallways that make them feel far larger than they first appear. The standard mode here is called balloon fight and has each player competing head to head to deal damage with random weapons found across the map. For every successful hit you land, you pop one of their balloons which gives you a point and if you take out all their lives then they have to respawn at the cost of half their total score. If you're wanting to try something a little bit more teamwork centered then boost in a renegade roundup. In this, everyone is divided into groups to either be the police or the crooks. The mission of the bad guys is to just survive the round, which means you'll be drifting around corners and dropping banana peels as fast as possible to stay away from the cops. The police are given piranha plants that are mounted onto the front of their carts that lets them instantly consume any robber who comes within 10 feet. As your fellow bandits start getting captured, the only way to free them is to drive across the arena until you find the prison. If you press this huge button beneath the jail, all your friends are set loose, giving you better odds of lasting until the end of the match. For the most part, these new battle modes are really quite fun, though I badly wish we had an option for changing the size of the minimap on the side of the screen. There were several occasions when I needed to find the final crook, but I couldn't because all the icons were overlapping, making a blurry mess of cartoonish faces. Other than this, what you're getting is pretty much the same stellar Mario Kart 8 we already got, and yet it does have some nice added tweaks. For example, all the DLC from the original game is tossed in, leaving us with a completely mind-blowing 48 tracks to race on. Seriously, I had to count them twice just to be sure. On top of that, we're getting six new characters to play as, new vehicles that can be unlocked including a Splatoon-themed ATV, and a freshly built feature called Smart Steering. This is an option you can turn on if you're going to be playing with kids or people people who just absolutely suck at racing. It gently nudges them if they're about to drive over a cliff or slightly bounces them off walls they crash into. While I appreciate that they added this in, I found that as a more skilled driver this really screwed me up. Just as a test, I did a couple hours with it on and I actually lost a few competitions because it would turn me away from a ledge that I was trying to go off to to take a shortcut. Speaking of hours, the battery life is surprisingly good. I took my Switch to a buddy's house to see how long we could play it as a handheld and it kept working well past the 3 hour mark. Being able to pick up a device with graphics this crazy and use it on the go is just incredible. The last thing I want to talk about real quickly at the end here is online matchmaking. It's hard to tell what precisely they changed but I have to say that the online is smoother than ever. When I was flying around a corner dodging a blue shell and hoping to cross the finish line to beat these German YouTubers, I was flat out amazed by how great the servers are now. There used to be a tiny bit of input lag in the Wii U version that caused me to miss a drift or something like that, and yet this time it's absolutely flawless. Nintendo just did stuff perfectly here, and I have to say that this is a must buy for anyone who owns a Switch. Okay, so we've heard some good and some bad, but let's head over to the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Mario Kart 8 Deluxe a 9.5 out of 10. For the price tag, this is really an insane deal. If you still have a copy on the Wii U, I suggest you trade it in right now so you can upgrade to this. The slightly improved graphics are nice, however, what will keep you coming back for more is that craving to kill your buddies in just one more match of battle mode. Thanks so much for watching gamers, this has been Dreamcast Guy with another review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But, do the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. 
Can you leave a like for me putting this cat in a video? Seriously, this kitten is named Smog and I love her so much. Oh my gosh, she's worth like 500 likes, right? Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.